I'm ready to jump. OK, we need the measurer. Ah! Don't do that, measurer. Measurer, please show Number Jack 2 how far he has to jump. Not too far. OK, T. That's not too far, but not too close. Good luck, T. <sighs> yes! Oh, well done, T. Now, measurer, show for how far he has to jump. Not too far. Ah, that is too far! <laughs> She's just teasing. There you go. I could just jump as far as two's buddy block. That's too close for you. Go for yours, four. Oh! Oh, yes! And now, how far have I got to jump, Measurer? That's much too close. She's teasing you now, Six. Still quite close. Not very close. Quite far. Very far away, indeed. I can do it! Yes! Let's go! Not for long. There's a girl getting really fed up. Putting it on screen. Oh, dear. She'll never be able to cuddle it if that keeps happening. Can you send someone? We certainly can. We'll send... me. Thank you. Get ready for launching. <laughs> Number six. Good luck, six. Thanks. Ready for launch. And I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Go for it, Six. Looking for a six, and looking, and found some sixes. That is a six. Way! <laughs> oh, right. Let's get sorting things out. Oh dear, more problems. Agent 37 here. There's a lady who can't sit down. Oh, dear. Is it her bottom? No, it's her chair. It keeps moving. I can see what's happening. It's weird. And there's another problem. trying to creep up on it. Getting close. He'll never get on his bike. Agent 18 here, there's trouble at the cafe. Not another moving chair. No, moving plates. I'm definitely putting that on screen. <laughs>
today. What's happening to the chair, the bike and the plates? They're all being moved too far away. People try to get close, but things keep moving too far away from them. I'll have a look at that bike. <gasps> a blob! Getting some close-ups on the chair and the plates. More blobs! I think we know what this means. The problem blob! <laughs> I'm looking for the blob. There he is. Oh, no. More blobs. Things could be moving too far away again. Or maybe this time it might be different. What's happening now? Now things are getting closer. That's very close. Too close to the people. Oh dear. What's going to happen to the plates? Oh, that is very close. Things are either too far away or much too close. Oh dear, anything could happen. <laughs> if you were playing in the park, if your friends were suddenly too far away, you couldn't play with them. Or if you were reading and your book got too close, you wouldn't be able to read it at all. Or if you were in Africa looking at a wild animal like a lion, you wouldn't want it to be too far away to see it properly. <laughs> or too close. <laughs> you want things just the right distance away. We can do that! Getting the brain game machine going. Get things not too close, not too far away! Brain game, brain game to solve the problem Use our brain way to get your brains all linking up together Joined up thinking Getting brain power now, brain game! Not too close, not too far away Sending brain game now! Not too close, not too far away We did it! Actually, I'm not sure we've done it exactly right. The chair's close enough now. But look! Oh dear! What's going wrong now? The chair's close enough to the lady, but it's in the wrong position. It should be behind her, but it's in front. What about the man and the bike? The man needs the bike in the right position. He wants to be beside the bike to get on, but now the bike's moved behind him. And look at the people eating. The plate should be in between the knife and fork, not next to the knives. I can feel more brain game coming up. Yes, please. Plates in between knife and fork. <laughs> To the man. Chair behind the lady. Yes, the lady's happy, and so is the man. And they're happily eating. Well done, Six. We must have sorted things now. Yes. Just got to sort everything out. Ah! I don't think we've quite got things sorted. Where is Six? Scanning for him. He must have been blobbed far away. He's far away and high above the ground. Yes, I'm high up. 
And I'm going to need help jumping down. We've got to know exactly where I'm going to land. It could be dangerous. I mustn't land in the water or on the rose bush. We've got to get the brain game exactly right. OK. If I land near the chair, it should be OK. Make sure you tell us the position exactly, Six. Help me to land in between the rose bush and the water and in front of the chair. Here goes. In between the rose bush and the water and in front of the chair. Good luck, Six. In between the rose bush and the water and in front of the chair. In between the rose bush and the water and in front of the chair. Phew. Well done, Six. And now we need two last bits of brain gain. I'm ready. Get the teddy beside the girl. And get the problem blob far away. Far, far away. <laughs> Come back now, Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did it! Well done, Six. And you can see it all on a screen near you. The teddy was too far away from the girl. And the chair was too far away too. And the bike and the plates. We got them closer, but they were in the wrong position. So we put them in the right position. Behind the lady, next to the man and between the knife and fork. Then I was in trouble. But I landed between the rose bush and the water in front of the chair. And the blob was sent a long way away. OK, Meshra. Can you stretch out a little bit so it's still quite close? And now stretch out so it's really far away. Oh! Watch out! I wanted to see how far out it could go. Well, it was very close to me. Sorry. I wonder, what things are very close to you? And what things can you think of that are far, far away? Have a think. And call the number jacks. Six! Hey, Six! I'm just going in the gym. Great! Oh, great! You've got one of your buddy blocks. Yes. Because, you know, your buddy blocks can turn into buddy sticks. They certainly can. <laughs> one buddy stick. Well, I've taught my buddy blocks to do the same thing. Go on. Great. Not quite the same as mine. What? The ends are round. Oh. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Round. A circle at both ends. This is... a circle stick. Um, can your other buddy blocks turn into circle sticks? Of course. Go for it. They're not quite the same. No, they're fine. Circle sticks. Sticks with a circle at both ends. That one's very tall. Lovely. Oh. Oh. And that one's very fat. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Maybe, maybe my circle sticks aren't quite ready yet. Well, never mind. We'll see them later. Let's go. Okay. Agent 
44 here. What's happening? Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this boy and his chalk. Putting it on screen. He can't draw at all with that chalk. He needs help. And we're the ones to help him. Thank you. I'd like to help that boy. OK. In that case, five is going out. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> Good luck, Five. Thank you. Ready for lunch. And I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Let's do it. Finding a five. Finding a five. I've done it. Oh, oh. Okay, time to do some helping out. More problems. Agent sixty three here. Where's the problem? It's in the garden centre. Can someone put it on screen while I check this? On screen. I've got a feeling this is going to go wrong. That carpet is out of control. <laughs> Why are all these things going wrong? Is there anything the same about the chalk? The big bit of wood and the carpet. I don't know. I think it's the shape. They're all the same shape. Putting them on screen. Can you see what's the same about them? Oh, oh, they've all got a circle at each end, like my circle sticks. Put them on screen, three. Oh, yes. They do look different, but they've all got a circle at each end. I think shapes with circles at both ends are called cylinders. OK, so we know what all these things going wrong are called, cylinders. But why are things this shape going wrong? I think I know. Listen! <laughs> it's the shape shaper. What do we know about the japer? This. Looks like the shape japer. Shape, shape Look! Da -da -da. <laughs> wow! She's got a circle at both ends. Cylinder! And I bet she's going to make trouble. Looks like you're right. I'm after her. More trouble. Someone's got something to eat. I think there's going to be a problem. Is it 
get another cylinder going wrong. It's got a circle at both ends. <laughs> cylinder! She's back! Cylinder! <laughs> well, the shape japer says these things are cylinders. She might be trying to trick us. They're open at the end and haven't got a middle. But they have got a circle at both ends. Let's get some brain gain to sort these cylinders out. Just one thing. The brain gain isn't working very well today. Oh, no. We'll only be able to use it once, so we can only fix one type of problem. So we've got to be sure that everything we send brain gain to really is a cylinder. More problems. Will they be cylinders too? The delivery man's in trouble again. It's very different from the carpet. But it has got a circle at both ends. There's more trouble in the kitchen. Is that cake a cylinder? Well, the top of the cake is a circle. And so is the bottom of it. If cylinders come in all these different types, there could be trouble with them anywhere. Tins of food in the supermarket have got circles at both ends. So they are cylinders that could go wrong. A drinking straw is a long, hollow cylinder. So that could be a cylinder that goes wrong. Or even a really short and fat cylinder like a cheesecake. If that goes wrong, it could be very naughty. All those different cylinders. So many things to go wrong. We've got to put the cylinders right. I'll start the brain gain machine. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain. A way to keep your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. Let's just hope all the different things were cylinders, because we've only got one chance with the brain game. Cylinder brain game. Cylinder brain game. Sending brain game now. Cylinder brain game now. Cylinders back to normal. Cylinders with open end back to normal. Now five. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, five. Amazing. All those different cylinders. And you can see them all on the screen. The boy had trouble with his cylinders. And the gardener and the delivery man were struggling with their cylinders. And the cylinders with open ends gave lots of trouble too. So did this cylinder. And the cake was a very messy cylinder. And one lot of cylinder brain gains sorted out all those different looking shapes. Buddy blocks weren't quite like your six. <laughs> <laughs>
Not exactly. But they did help us solve the problem with cylinders. That's true. Lucky my cylinders aren't doing strange things. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you are very silly cylinders. I wonder, how many different sorts of cylinders can you find? No. Oh. Remember to look for a circle at each end. Find big cylinders, small ones, thin ones, fat ones, long ones, short ones, and call the number jacks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I do think the seesaw looks much better when it's balanced. Come on. One, two. One, two. The same number on each end. That's better. Three must be in the cosy room. Oh. One, two. One, two, three. Different. Mm. That's better. One, two, three. One, two, three. The same. Oh no, what's going on? I like the seesaw balancing with the same number of blocks at each end. Thank you, that's better. What? <laughs> Oh, number jack one, it's you. <laughs> oh, I've got to go. I suppose I'll have to leave it like that. We've got a call coming in. Where were you three? In the cozy room. What's going on? Things are going wrong. But not for long. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. The boy's only got one sock. That's no good for two feet. And he's got three shoes. That's not right either. It's not a very big problem. But it might get worse. You're right. So who could go out? If it's not a very big problem, I'm not a very big number, Jack. All right then, off you go. Oh, yes! Okay, three. I can do it. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. Somebody's there. I'll ring the doorbell. Nearly gone. They've gone. Looking for a three. Need a three to land on. Got one. Huh. Ah. Oh yes, I did it. Three is on her way. Agent's calling in. Agent 72 here. There's a problem at the garden centre. The gardener had three plants and three pots to put them in, but now he's only got two pots. Agent 27 here. Problems at the teddy bear's tea party. 
There are four teddy bears, but only three drinks. That's not right. At least there are enough bikes to go round. Two children and two bikes. I've got things under control here. Three, behind you. What? Oh, no. We know who does that. The number taker. Put in the data on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, making, getting, making as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. What's going on with all these things? The gardener had three plants, but only two pots. There were four teddies, but only three drinks. And two children, but only one bike. The numbers don't match. Yes, so there aren't enough things to go around. If the number taker keeps on taking things so that numbers don't match, anything could happen. If you've got two people, but thanks to the number taker, oh. only one raincoat, there are big problems when it rains. If there are three dogs and only two bowls, one dog is going to go hungry. Four people with four kites are happy, but not if there's only two kites. We've got to stop that number taker. We need some brain gain to make the number of things match again. I'll work the brain gain machine. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. Stop the number taker taking things and make the numbers match. Sending brain game. Stop taking things and make the numbers of things match. Four teddies, four drinks. Two children, two bikes. Three plants, three pots. Well done, three. And remember, Mr Number Taker, we've stopped you taking things away so the numbers don't match. I did it! I did it! This has been a bit too easy. Shall I come back now? More problems. Oh, no. The numbers don't match again. But we stopped the Number Taker taking things away. Well, look what he's doing. There are three plants and three pots. The number taker's back. But we've stopped him taking things. Well, he didn't take anything away. He added an extra plant. And now the numbers don't match anymore. Three, watch out. What's happening? The number taker is adding things to stop the numbers matching. He's coming. <laughs> oh, no. An extra teddy. And now the numbers don't match again. One, two, three, four, five teddies and only one, two, three, four drinks. <laughs> Whoa. It's an extra child. Sort of. That's one, two, three children and one, two bikes. We need to stop the number taker. Yes. Especially as he's adding some strange things. Let's send that brain game. The same number of both lots of things. The same number. The same number of both lots of things. Same number for both lots of things. The number of things matches. And again. 
Well done, three. Yeah. We've made sure that there is the same number for both lots of things. We've done really well. There's another problem. We can do it. We made sure that both lots of things had the same number. But look. Count the teddies, the drinks and the straws. One, two, three, four teddies. One, two, three drinks. And one, two straws. There are three different things to match. Teddies, drinks and straws. Oh, no. Look what's happening with the gardener. How many plants? One, two, three. How many pots? One, two. And how many saucers? Just one. The number of things don't match. Well, let's sort it out once and for all. Brain game coming. Make the number of all the things match. Same number. All the things match. Same number of each of them. Same number of teddies and drinks and straws. Same number of plants, pots and saucers. Same number of feet, socks and shoes. Yes! Well done, everyone. Wait a minute. We still haven't dealt with the number taker. It would be good to deal with him. I've got an idea. Yes. Let's make it the same number of meanies in the park as there are elephants in the park. But there aren't any elephants in the park. Exactly. Look what happens. The number of meanies in the park to match the number of elephants in the park. The number of meanies in the park to match the number of elephants, which is zero. I see zero elephants and a matching number of number takers. Zero. Come back now, three. I did it! Thanks for all your help. Here it is on the screen. The boy had two feet, but only one sock and three shoes. The numbers didn't match. The number of plants and pots didn't match. And the number of teddies and drinks didn't match. And there was only one bike for two children. We sorted it all out. But the number taker added things so the numbers didn't match. And we sorted that out. And we sorted it when the number taker made three lots of things not match. And we sorted the number taker. Hooray! You know, Four, sometimes it's good if the number of things match. Yes, I like the seesaw. Same number on both sides. But it doesn't have to be the same number all the time. Ah, that's true. That's fine by me. Could you match my buddy blocks? Have you got five of anything that could be the same number as my buddy blocks? Maybe five things on your body somewhere. Try and find a matching five and call the number jacks. Oh. Right. If you are sure you are in a sensible mood, <laughs> then I will allow you to look after my beautiful things. Number Jack 1. I've sorted you all with the shapes with straight edges. <laughs> straight. And Zero, you look after the ones that have curvy edges, because you're very curvy yourself. <laughs> these are all the curvy ones. And these are all the... <laughs> all the straight ones. <laughs> and this one is curvy. So it goes with the... <laughs> no, you're supposed to be looking after them. <laughs> All right. If you like, we could sort them by colour instead. Zero, you can have all the greeny ones to look after. Greeny. And one gets all the bluey purpley ones to match your colours. Green. Purpley blue, purpley blue, 
Green. Green. See? Now they're sorted differently. All the ones with the oh, same yeah. colour together. Boo! <laughs> Oh, I wish you'd get a bit more into things. Into it. Yes. Oh, no. See you later. Putting it on screen. The toys keep on moving all by themselves. I'm sure it's not really by themselves. Something's moving them. We're on our way. Thank you. And who's it going to be? Today it's... Number four. Woohoo! We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we choose? Who's going out there? Number four. for a four to land on. Found a four. Ah! You are right, four? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Better check those toys out first. I'm on my way. What's happening with those toys? Why do they keep getting into different groups? It's very strange. We may need some help from the agents on this one. Agents, why are things making different groups? Agent 108 here. I think they're going into groups because they've got something the same about them. What's the same about these toys? They're all toy animals. Yes, and the others are all toy trucks. I get it. Ah, they're in different groups now, sorted out differently. Now all the big toys are together and all the small toys are together. OK, we're getting somewhere. Sounds like more problems. Agent 63 here. There are problems at the picnic in the park. Problems at the picnic in the park? I'm on my way. Putting it on screen. The people keep getting moved into different groups. Four, there are problems with the people. Problems with the people at the picnic in the park? Don't panic! Can anyone work out how these people are being sorted? How about now? Looks like one group is all grown-ups. And the other group is all children. Yes, but watch out for the groups changing. <laughs> What's the same about people in each group now? Maybe it's their clothes. Yes, yes. One group is people wearing red tops. And in the other group, everyone is wearing blue tops. <laughs> Whoa! Back to grown-ups and children again. This is really spoiling their picnic. Who could be doing this mean stuff? <laughs> I know that laugh. yoo It's me! Spooky Spoon! Better check what we know about her. Uh -oh. One, two, three. She's mean. She's bossy. 
Jack Four. You've got to stop mixing things up, Spooky. But I'm not mixing them up. I'm sorting them out. Trouble is, I keep changing my mind how I want them sorted out. By colour. <laughs> or by how old they are. So hard to choose. <laughs> But you're really spoiling their picnic. Really? Yes, and it's not very nice. Oh, it isn't. Oh, you're right, Four. Naughty, naughty Spooky Spoon. I'll go away now and leave everyone in peace. <laughs> oh, good. To do. Well, I think we've sorted that out. Are you sure, Four? Oh, yes. Sometimes it just needs a few sensible words from someone like me. Don't want to worry you, but... Oh, it's no worry for me. Ah, oh, they've been mucked about again. Yes! <laughs> I get bored so easily. What groups are they being sorted into? I think it's by how old they are again. Yes, it is. It's not now. Why have these two been put together? And those two? You'll never work it out. <laughs> We've got to work it out so we can put things right. Maybe it's the things they are holding. On screen. What is it about these things? Oh, I know. It's like my beautiful things. What? The ball and the frisbee are curvy things. And the kite and the book have got straight edges. Great! We know what Spooky Spoon is up to. But if she keeps on grouping things in different ways, anything could happen. <coughs> Spooky might group people because of her hair. People with straight hair together. And then people with curly hair. She might group all the cars together and all the trucks together and then it's new groups all the blue vehicles together and all the silver ones <laughs> we've got to stop that spooky spoon i'm ready just send me some brain game okay i'll get the brain game machine going <laughs> Let's get some brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Making brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Wait a minute, there's a problem with four. <gasps> oh, waiting for your silly brain game, are you number Jack? Might be. The brain game's building up. We can't hold it much longer. Well, I'm afraid you can't wait here. But this place is for... <laughs> big things like benches. And you're not big. <laughs> so go away. Ah! We've got to send it now. Sending brain game now. Oh, no. To use the brain game. <laughs> I'm back, but I need more brain game. I've changed my mind. I only want green things here, like the grass. I can be green. Huh. Uh, I only want tiny things. You can't get rid of me. Big things. I can fit in with anything you say. Uh, all right, then. A wibbly, wobbly things. <laughs> I can do it. I can make myself wibbly wobbly. Oh. Send that brain game quick. Sending brain game. Stop spooky putting things in groups. 
No more problems for the picnic people in the park! No more problems for the girls! And as for you, Spooky... What? We're putting you in the group of things that are... A long way away! <laughs> Now for... One, two, three, four. Great work, Four. Thanks. I liked it when you were wibbly wobbly. I didn't. We've got it all on screen. The girls' toys are being put in groups. Animals and trucks. And in the park, the people were grouped by how old they were. All the children together, and all the grown-ups. And then it was all the curvy things together, and all the straight-edge things. Spooky tried to send me away because I wasn't a big thing. But you kept changing to whatever sort of thing she said. Even wibbly-wobbly. And the brain game got everything back to normal. And sent Spooky to be with the things that are far, far away. We've come to help you sort out your beautiful things, three. Great! Maybe you could do some sorting. Sort us number jacks. Can you think of different ways of sorting out the number jacks? What things are the same about some number jacks, but not others? Sort us out in different ways and call the number jacks. OK, now watch this. I'm watching. Body blocks turn into body tiles. Wow! And watch them move. It's like they're dancing. Yeah, and they love making patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. And another pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do another. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's really great, six. And one last thing. Watch me fly those buddy tiles. Huh. Great! Woo hee yeah! I've Way. got to get my buddy block to do that. No time now, though. Let's go. <laughs> having trouble with the cover on her bed. On the screen. It looks all right at the moment, but look. Oh, that's going to keep her warm at night. And now it's covering far too much. Can you send someone? Yes, I can. Thank you. I can send... me. Six is going out. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> Ready for lunch, and I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Here we go then. The 
looking for a six. Not many sixes around today. But there's one. Got a six. Way! Huh. Okay, let's get going. Oh dear, more problems. Agent 37 here, there's a problem at the school. On screen. Right, let's see what's happening here. That will keep the paint off the table. But watch now. That's no good. That's hardly covering anything. Now it's getting bigger again. Back to normal. It won't be for long. It's covering plenty now. It's causing a lot of trouble. She's not happy at all. Who could be doing this? <laughs> I know that laugh. <laughs> the puzzler. We know all about him. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twisted mind. His bubbles, in trouble, if you get trapped inside. Solve the puzzle out, the puzzle will solve you. Puzzler! Well, hello there, number six. Here's a problem for you to fix. I'm making things go big or small. They cover too much or not much at all. <laughs> We've got a problem. Yes, with the puzzler, anything could happen. If you had a lid on a box, it might get much too small or much too huge. Or you might put a stamp on a postcard and the stamp becomes so small the postman wouldn't see it. Or so big the postman couldn't carry it. Or you might be sticking a sticker in a book and the sticker gets tiny. Or it gets so huge it sticks you to the book. <laughs> Puzzler has got to be stopped. Six is on his way. Puzzler, you've got to stop changing the size of things. I will agree to your request if you can pass my little test. <laughs> Two sheets of paper. What's your call? Which one's bigger? Which one's small? That's easy. You can see which one's bigger. You can't just say. You have to show. Or oh, here's my bubble, and in you'll go. Oh no. How do we show which shape is bigger? Agents, any ideas? Agent 99 here. You can put them close together so you can see which is bigger. Or even better, put one on top of the other. That sounds good. Six, we're sending you brain gain to help. Let's do it. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain always to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Sending brain game to show which sheet of paper is bigger. Sending brain game. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, we'll show which is bigger. If the red sheet is bigger, it will cover the blue one. It doesn't. But if I put the blue one on top, it does cover the red one. The blue is bigger, and we've shown it. Oh, all right then, I suppose so. But how about those, though? Oh. It's much harder to say which is bigger.
Neither of them completely covers the other one. We can't show which is bigger. If you don't, I'll cause more trouble, and you'll end up inside my bubble. <laughs> How can we show which is bigger? Any ideas? We need something to measure the shapes. What could measure those shapes? I wish I had my buddy tiles with me. Maybe you could use some other shapes from the display. Yes, I could use them like my buddy tiles. Lots of shapes, their size the same. OK then, Six, let's play the game. Yes, Puzzler. These shapes are all the same size. And I need... One, two, three tiles to cover the blue shape. Hmm. Now the red shape. One, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. So the red shape is bigger because it needs more tiles. Hooray! Well, my friend, I like your style, measuring with your same size tiles. But measuring these will wipe your smile. They're really hard to measure. You can do it, Six. OK, then. We need... One, two, three... Four tiles to cover the red shape. And one, two, three, four, five tiles to cover the blue shape. So the blue shape needs more tiles, so it's bigger. And we've shown it. Huh. That sorted you out, puzzler. A number who knows how to measure. Hmm, it almost gives the puzzler pleasure. You've shown the things you had to show, and now it's time for me to go. <laughs> Don't forget to put things back to normal, Six. Here's some brain game to help. <laughs> Come back now, Six. Checking the rooms clear. All clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. Everyone helped. You showed that puzzler he can't beat the number jacks. And we've got it all on screen. The girl's bed cover was too small. And then it was too big. The teacher was covering the table, but it was too small. Then it was much too huge. It was that mean old puzzler making trouble. We showed which shape was bigger. The blue one covered the red one, so it was bigger. The yellow tiles measured those shapes. Three tiles for the blue shape. Four tiles for the red shape. Bigger. And those shapes. Four tiles cover the red shape. But five tiles needed to cover the blue one, so it was bigger. And that sorted the puzzle. Hooray! <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! Brilliant, Five. Buddy tiles are great for flying on. And even better for measuring, even if sometimes they try to measure the wrong things. <laughs> you can't measure me! I'm not flat enough! I'm not ticklish! <laughs> Why don't you do some measuring? Find something flat to measure and use cards or dominoes and see how many you need. Find out and call the number jacks. OK, Thor, I'm going to... Ugh. You're going to what? Sorry, Thor. I'm not feeling too good. I'll try and jump. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh dear, you're not very well at all. I think I've got a bit of lurgy. Lurgy? What does that feel like? Oh, sort of hurty head. Hurty head? Achy body. Achy body? Just feel horrible all over. Horrible all over. Ah. Oh. What? I think I've got lurgy too. Oh. Oh no. What took you so long? We've got the dreaded lurgy. Oh dear. Hope I don't catch it. We've got a call. Hello, Agent 58 here. What's happening? Things are going wrong. They're going wrong here too. This boy needs your help. I'll put it on the screen. Now let me do it. <laughs> the boy looks all right. A lot better than some of us. Yes, but the trouble is, he can't stop. We'll get... We'll get someone out there. Thank you. Who's going out? Who's going out? Well, I don't think it's either of those two. So I'd better go. Oh. And you'll have to look after things here. Oh! Number five, get ready for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five! for a five to land on. There's a five. I think you'd best do this. Found a five. You two had better go and have a lie down. Uh, but... I'll be fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay, five? Yep. Yeah. That's good, because four and six aren't. Are you going to be all right? Of course! Agent 81 here. Another person with problems and he can't stop either. At least it's only his finger. Oh, no, it isn't. The problem's spreading. Looks a bit bad. Oh, oh dear. There's a problem in the kitchen. On screen. Let's hope it's just her thumb. It isn't. And she can't stop. <laughs> oh! Problems in the garden. On, on screen. I know something's going to happen. Oh dear. Is he enjoying it? No, because it goes on too long. Oh, dear. We've got to help all these people, Three. I know. Can anyone work out what's the same about them all? They're all jumping. But they weren't jumping to begin with. The cook's fun was going up and down. It's all about things going up and down. Little things, then big things. But why? I'll try and see. Look! Blobs! Yes! A 
and the others. All blobbed. And we know why. It is what a blob of slime. Guess what a slob can buy. Great big and blubbery. Making trouble is the blubbery, snubbery. We've got to sort this out, three. I know. I wish four and six were here. <coughs> you can do it, three. I can. Me, me, me. I'll get the brain game machine going to stop them going up and down. Brain game. Brain brain to solve the problem, use our brain A way to get your brains all linking up together Join up thinking, getting brain power now Brain gain! Getting brain gain Up and down And stop! No more up and down Oh! What's happening? You've got to send the brain gain now I know that Sending brain gain We've got to stop this, Three. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling a bit giddy. Or maybe it's not that. I think I've got the dreaded Lurgy too. Oh, no. And if the blob keeps on blobbing, anything could happen. <laughs> the blob might make things go up and down again. And people in the lift might go up and down all day. Or if the blob made things go round and round <laughs> and up and down or it would be a disaster. We've got to stop the problem, Blob. Oh, we've got to keep going, Five. How are we going to manage, Three? Look! They're going round and round and up and down. Oh, no. That's what I thought might happen. Oh, no. It's making me feel even worse. We can help you three. Yes, we'll do anything we can. I'm not sure I can work the brain game machine. We can help. I'll call all the other agents. OK, do the movements and then stop. All agents, everyone, get ready to join in. <laughs> I need your help joining in. Start going up and down and round and round. Oh, we'll do it for you, Free. Give Number Jack three some brain games. Up and down and round and round. Everyone, up and down and round and round. Up and down and round and round. Get ready to stop. You can do it, Three. Up, down, round, round, and stop! Stop going up and down and round and round.
Agents, everybody, we've got to get rid of the blob. Three can't help. It's up to you. We can do it. We'll make the blob go up and down and round and round. Up and down and round and round. Up and down and round. Up and down and round. Three, we need you to send it. Whoa! Up and down and round and round. Come back now, five. Hmm. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. I'm so glad you're back. Well done, three. You go to bed now. I think I will. And thank you, agents, for all your help. And you too. We couldn't have done it without you. Can we see it on the screen, please? On screen. The boy was going up and down. So was the man. And the cook. And the child on the bouncy castle. It was all the blob's fault. Then people started going round and round as well. Three had got the dreaded lurgy. So the agents and everyone had to help with Brain Gain to put things right. All right. Everyone had a good sleep? Yes. And feeling much better, thank you. I hope we won't get any more of that lurgy. Oh, no. Looks like Zero's got the lurgy. Ooh, ow. No, it's just Zero being his normal self. Zero. Well done, three and five for managing the mission without us. We couldn't have done it without the agents. We needed everybody helping. So keep on helping. Look out for things that go up and down, or round and round, or maybe up and down and round and round, and call the number jacks. Are you sure it's all right for us to play with your buddy blocks, Five? Yes, that's fine. Look after them and give them a good time. Of course they'll have a good time, with me singing to them. La 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 la. No, I was thinking, Three, I could take them to see the new wires I'm connecting to the launcher. My songs are lovely. My wires are brown. A little song, very musical. Brown wires? Some of them quite thick. Oh, you're confusing them for. They obviously want to be entertained by me. I'll tell you what, Three. We could share the body blocks. I want them all to play with me. That's not fair. We ought to share them. One for me. And one for me. One for me. And one for me. One for me. Oh. That's not fair. If you have that buddy block, there won't be one for me. And we won't both have the same number. I'd better have it. Well, I don't think you're being very fair. Me? I'm the fairest person that has ever been. I don't think so. I could get a prize for being fair. A prize for being loud? Number Jack 3, the fairest person in the world. Ah, they're going! They've gone. That's because you weren't very interesting. No, it's because we were arguing over sharing them out and they got bored. And now we haven't got any buddy blocks to play with. Come on! We've got an agent calling in. Hello, Agent 12 here. What's your report? Things are going wrong. But not for long. Two children are arguing over a ball. Putting it on screen. <laughs> they both want to have it all to themselves. It's very bad to argue. Yes, three. And I have a feeling things are going to go very wrong. 
OK, we're sending someone out. Thank you. Can I go, please? Why? Cos I'm very good at sorting out arguments. <sighs> well, OK then. Yes! Get ready to launch number Jack 3, who says she's the fairest person in the world. Hey, we've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who's going out there? Number three. Three to land on. Got a three. All right, three. Yes. Let me go and sort out arguments everywhere. More problems. Agent 44 here. There are problems at the garden centre. On screen. <laughs> Why is everyone arguing today? <laughs> More arguing. Look at these girls. Stop! Oh. All three want the hula hoop for themselves. Three, you've got a lot of work to do. Don't worry, I can sort things out. <laughs> oh! That bucket's no use to either of them in two bits. Watch out for the hoop. <laughs> they won't be able to do much now the hoop's in three bits. The arguing about the footballs is even worse. <laughs> there are four children now. <laughs> but I'm sure I can sort it. <laughs> or maybe not. The ball's in four pieces. They got a piece. But those bits are no good to play with. What's happening? Every time the thing ends up in pieces. Two bits of bucket, one bit each. Three bits of hoop and four pieces of ball, one piece each for the children. There's the same number of bits as people. Someone or something is doing this. The bits are all very funny shapes. Oh, and I think I know who could be doing it. <laughs> yes. The Shape Japer! On screen! Shape Japer! Shape Japer! She's really very strange! Shape Japer! She loves to make things change! Changing faces! Changing size! Changing shapes every single time! Changing shapes is the Japer's game! The Shape Back. <laughs> oh dear, if the shape japer keeps on dividing things up and making them useless, anything could happen. <laughs> if two children on a seesaw wanted half of it each, the two halves they got wouldn't be any good at all. And if three children oh, argued over whose oh, skipping rope it was, oh, a third of a rope each isn't as oh. much fun to play with. And if four people argued oh, about who was going to have a bath, oh, a quarter of a bath doesn't do anyone any good. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we need some brain game to get these things sorted out. OK. I'll get the brain game machine going. We'll put the things back together again. And maybe people will stop arguing. Whoa. 
everyone arguing. I'm just that sort of person. I just like to make everybody happy. Maybe there's a bit more work for you to do, Three. Oh no! They're arguing over an apple now. We've got to stop the shape shaper dividing the apple into two pieces. Wait a minute! Maybe it'll be alright! What do you mean? This time, let the shape japer split it into two pieces. OK, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Sometimes things are fine when they are divided in two. They can share the apple, half each. <laughs> See, Japer? Sometimes you don't cause trouble. There could be trouble in the garden. Or maybe there won't. Pizza's ready. Oh, well done. Oh, thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. <laughs> Is it going to be all right this time? Yes, three people, three pieces, one third each. Yes, sometimes it's fine for things to be split into parts. Sometimes fractions are fine. More problems with fractions. Will they argue about sharing the chocolates? OK, so far. Oh, they might argue now. <laughs> you think you're causing problems, don't you? <laughs> well, you're not. They've each got one whole chocolate and a quarter of a chocolate. That fraction of a chocolate is fine. <laughs> it's those gardeners again. Will they share them out all right? They've got one orange each. They've got two each. <laughs> They've two and a half each. <laughs> you can't cause trouble anymore, Shape Japer. The fractions are fine. But she might do. She might make more problems with things that don't work as fractions, like the buckets. I expect the Shape Japer wouldn't work very well as fractions. Well, let's find out. Sending Brain Game to divide the Shape Japer into two halves. Two halves. Oh no! She's whole again. Brain game to divide into three pieces. Into thirds. Whole again. Divide into quarters. She'll be back causing trouble another day soon. Till then, come back, number three. Well done, three. All the arguing stopped in the end. Even if it wasn't thanks to me. Got it all on screen for you to see. Half a bucket was no good. Nor was a third of a hoop. And a quarter of a ball is no good either. It was the shape tip for dividing things into useless fractions. But some fractions are fine. Half an apple is great. So is a third of a pizza each. And one and a quarter chocolates. Or two and 
two and a half oranges. And we got rid of the shape by turning her into fractions. Halves. Thirds. Quarters. Well, we can't share five buddy blocks by having two and a half each. But we could share them this way. You play with them first, and I play with them later. I'd like to play all together. The buddy blocks are playing with us. We can sit and watch them dancing. Yeah! I was just wondering, what things are still useful when you split them into fractions? And what things aren't useful? Think about it. I call the number jacks. Right, last story. Which story do you want? Day, night, day, night. I told you that story yesterday. Do you really want it again? Yes, yes. Well, all right then. This is the story of when the number jacks had a problem. It was the middle of a dark, dark night. The number jacks were all asleep. But then the alarm went off. The number jacks made their way sleepily to the control room. Come on, you two. I'm asleep. We were all asleep. Let's see who's out there. Oh, Agent 37 here. Yes, the agent was in pyjamas, because of course it was the middle of the night. There's something strange going on in the street. A man was washing his car in the middle of the night. Number Jack 6 was launched to find out what was going on. And it was very hard to find six a number to land on. Is that a six? Or that? Come on, four. It's hard to see. It's dark. Of course it is. It's night time. But at last they found a number for six to land on. <laughs> Even number jack six was a little bit scared. Out on his own in the dark, dark night. He saw the man still washing his car. Very strange. And then there was news of more problems. Agent 58 here. Go ahead. Instead of being in bed, children are getting up in the middle of the night. On screen. They're getting dressed and everything. And there were more strange goings on. This time a man getting undressed. The number jacks were amazed. He's putting on sun cream to stop getting sunburn. That's silly. He's only got the moon to worry about. You don't need sunglasses. There's no sun. What is going on? Agent 99 here. I think daytime things are happening at night time. The agent was right. Things that normally happen in the daytime were happening in the night time. And who do you think was mixing things up like that? Spooky Spoon. Yes, Spooky Spoon was out and about. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. Yes, Spooky Spoon was flying through the night, making trouble. <laughs> Don't like Spooky Spoon. No, but the number jacks can beat her with Brain Game to put things back to normal. And that is what happened next. Brain Game. Brain game to stop daytime things happening at night time. Sending brain game. Number six helped get everything back to normal.
When everything seemed fine, Six came flying back home. But was that the end of the problems? No. What happened the next day was this. Children were in their night clothes in the middle of the day. And not just children. All sorts of strange things were going on. <laughs> now what was the problem? The agents were calling in to help. Agent 37 here. A bit tired because I was up last night. Oh, tell me about it. What's going wrong now? People are doing things at the wrong time again. But this time they're doing nighttime things in the daytime. Oh no! If Spooky Spoon keeps on mixing up daytime things and nighttime things, anything could happen. Any time! <laughs> Playing football in the dark isn't much fun. You wouldn't be able to see the ball. And it could go anywhere. Or in the daytime at school, you shouldn't go to bed then. Especially if you're the teacher. And even the sun might get confused about daytime and nighttime. And the sun and the moon wouldn't know when it was time to be up in the sky. Oh, it would be very confusing for everyone. Daytime things at night? Nighttime things in the day? What could the number jacks do? Bring gang. Yes. This time, five went out to get things back to normal. And with the brain gain, she stopped people doing nighttime things during the day. It looked like everything was back to normal. And Five flew back home. But was that the end of the problems? No. No, it was not. Spooky Spoon was up to her tricks again. Ooh. Ah, I'm going to mix things up again. <laughs> I am. And she did mix things up. Children were playing football and changing into their pyjamas at the same time. And a lady was eating a sandwich and cleaning her teeth at the same time. What was going on now? Spooky has mixed things up so people are doing two things at once. Checking that. You play football in the day <laughs> and get ready for bed at night. Not both at the same time. And you eat your lunch in the daytime. And clean your teeth at bedtime. Not both at the same time. And look at this. He's putting on his morning clothes. His afternoon swimming things. And his nighttime bed clothes. All, All at, at once. once. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear. Spooky had mixed Ooh. things up and people were doing things from different times of the day all at the same time. Same. So the number jacks decided they were going to sort things out once and for all. Right, we've got to get all the things being done at the right time of day and we'll all take it in turns to put things right. Number jack three went out in the morning. people do in the morning? Get up and get dressed. Have breakfast. Go to school and work. Right. I'll need brain gain to help everyone do those morning things. Three sorted it so that people got up and got dressed. They had breakfast and they 
went to work. There we are. The things you do in the morning were all sorted out. Ooh. Three had done her work, come back. And later in the day, it was four's turn to fly out. Oof. Right. What sort of things do people do in the middle of the day? Be at school. Have their lunch. Play in the park. So Number Jack 4 sorted out the things people do in the daytime. Like being at school. Having lunch. And playing in the park. Three and four had sorted out the morning and the daytime. Now it was five's turn to sort out the evening. OK, what do people do in the evening? Have their tea. Get ready for bed. And what else do they do? Have a story. Yes. And so people did the evening things, having tea, getting ready for bed, and having a story. Like us. And all the evening things were sorted. And five came home. And then there was one more number jack ready to go out. Number six. Yes, much later, in the middle of the night. Number six went out again to check that all the nighttime things were back to normal. Everything's quiet. No one's washing their car. And people are in bed as they normally are. Well, you should be. Making Brain Game to put spooky spoon to bed. But I'm... I'm not tired! But we're tired of you. Night-night! Come back now, Six. Everything was back to normal. And when Six got back, the Number Jacks watched it all on screen. First of all, daytime things were happening at night time. Then nighttime things were happening in daytime. The things you do at different times of the day were all happening at the same time. We had to sort it all out. I went first in the morning. Then I sorted out the things to do in the daytime. And I sorted out things to do in the evening. And finally, I went out at night again to send Spooky Spoon off to bed. Oh. And that is the story of when the number jacks sorted out the morning, the daytime, the evening and the night time. The time little number jacks are asleep. Night night. I wonder, what things do you do in the daytime? And what things do you do in the night time? And are there any things you do all the time? Have a think and call the number jacks. Come on, come on. We've got to be good at this to show seven, eight and nine. Yeah, they'll be here soon. Remember, you've got to get into this circle, but everybody's got to do it in a different way. I'm going to do a slide. Huh. Oh, yes. I'm going to do some jumps. Huh. Hey! Huh. Hey! Whoa! I like it. I can't do that. You're not supposed to. You've got to do it a different way. But you've done sliding and Six has done jumping. There's no other ways left for me! <laughs> oh! There you are, Four. You did find a different way of getting in the circle. Yes, very different. Come on! We've got a call. Agent 27, Lee, things are going wrong. But not for long. There's a girl putting on her coat in a very strange way. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen.
What is she doing? I don't think she wanted to put her coat on in that strange way. I think she needs help. Well, Four is good at doing things in unusual ways. Am I? So Four is going out to help find that girl. Thank you. We got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We got a problem, do we do? Who's going out there? Number four. for a four to land on. And here's a four. Ugh. Be careful, four. I've got a feeling there's going to be strange goings on today. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Here we go. Agent 63 here. There's a man going down the street in a very strange way. We'll take a look. On screen. That's very odd. More problems. Agent 18 here, it's the gardener. Well, that's a different way to dig. Very different. I think that's it. What? The people are doing things in very different ways. And not very sensible ways. This is very weird. Lucky we've got seven, eight and nine coming. They can help us sort this out. But who is making this happen? <laughs> We all know that laugh. The Puzzler! Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The Puzzler, the Puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles, his trouble, if he get trapped inside. Stop thinking if the Puzzler has caught you. Because if you can't solve the puzzle out, the Puzzler will solve you. Yes, it's me. And oh, what fun. You'll never guess what I've just done. I've trapped eight inside my bubble. Oh, no! And there he stays while I make trouble. <laughs> oh, no. We haven't got eight to help us. But at least we're here to help. Yes. We're going to need all the help we can get. The puzzler's making people do things in different silly ways. What else might he do? <laughs> a man could be painting a room. Then the puzzler makes him do it different silly ways. Maybe with his feet. Or maybe another silly way is just throwing the paint. Or he might get the dancing cow in and get the cow to dance the paint on the walls. <laughs> All different ways to paint a room, but not very good ways. The puzzler's got to stop what he's doing. We're all here to help, Five. We've got to stop the puzzler. Stop puzzler. Yes. I might stop. Help. And let your friend go free if you listen carefully. We're listening. Here's the challenge for you today. Can you make eight three different ways? 
We've got to make eight three different ways. One way of making eight is by adding two numbers together. OK, start with my number. And what other number do we need to add to make eight? One! Yes! Come on, buddy blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more makes eight. Get ready to start the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. Your way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Seven and one add up to eight. Sending brain game. We found one way of making eight. Seven and one make eight. Seven and one make eight, as you say. Now, can you do it a different way? Me, me. Two wants to join in. Oh, oh hey, two could add his blocks to mine to make eight. Yes, yes. No, we've already made eight by adding. This time it's got to be a different way. Oh. If you don't find a different way, oh. old Puzzly here's got games to play. That's a very different way of drinking. And I've got a different way of making eight. Instead of adding a buddy block, let's take away instead. Come on, buddy blocks. Nine buddy blocks and take one away. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we made eight by taking one away from nine. <laughs> Another way of making eight. Keep going, Paul. You found two ways, but you need three. Till then, let's do things weirdly. <laughs> we've added, we've taken away, how else can we make eight? We can help. You only make two. We need lots more than that. Oh. That's it. You can make eight with lots of twos. One lot of two is two, and another lot of two makes four. And another lot of two makes six. Nearly getting there. So how many lots of two do we need? Two. Your lot of body blocks go first. Oh, yes. One lot of two. Another lot of two makes four. Three lots of two makes six. And a fourth lot of two makes eight. In you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Sending brain gain. Four lots of two make eight. Thanks, Four. Everybody helped. Well, my friends, you've done just great. Three different ways of making eight. First it was add, then take away. Four lots of two was another way. You win. See you all another day. <laughs> Bye, Puzzler. Let's sort everything out. Yes. Four and eight.
to see you eight. That bubble was horrible. We can see it all on screen. The girl was getting dressed in a different way. It's a different way of moving. That way it takes a very long time to dig a hole. It was all the puzzler's fault. And he had eight in a bubble. We had to find three ways of making the number eight. You can add seven and one more makes eight. Or you can take away. Nine take away one is eight. Or you can make eight with four lots of twos. And eight was free. Bye-bye, Puzzler. <laughs> OK, eight. I got into the circle by sliding. I did it by jumping. Way! And I did it by slipping and crashing. Whoa! Can you think of a different way to get into the circle? Hmm. How about... Rolling. Brilliant. All different ways. I wonder, can you think of different ways of making my number? You can make it any way you like. Adding, take away, lots of, any way. And then, call the number jacks. Right, the plan is to take big photos of all the number jacks. So I'm starting with you, zero. <coughs> I'll wait for you to calm down. One, are you ready? Ready. That's good. Oh, yes, I think that's a good one. Now, zero. Ooh. Big smile. I think that's a bit too big a smile. Lucky I've got lots of paper. Now, just do me a little smile. That'll have to do. Together. What? Well, I could take a picture of you together. But if you're next to each other like that, you make the number ten. Ten. OK, why not? One and zero. Get together to make the number ten. Got to rush. Look after those photos for me. We've got a call coming in. Hello, Agent 44 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. These girls are losing stuff. Putting it on screen. She had all these beads. Oh no! Then just these. And then just one. Can't make much of a necklace with just one bead. So will you send someone? Yes. We'll send me. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? There's a problem. Need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. Ready for launch, and I'm scanning the room. It's all clear, apart from Jasper. Jasper, never mind. Let's go. Looking for a six. Come in, number six. Got a six. Way! <sighs> right, let's find some action. Agent 81 here. More 
problems at the cafe. On screen. Oh dear. It won't get very full on that. Agent 180, there's a problem with gloves. Gloves? I'd better put that on screen. Well, actually, it's the fingers of the gloves. <gasps> there's still one pair of gloves, OK? Oh, no, there's not. This is very weird. Six, where are you? I'm worried about this boy. You were right to worry. And if it's like the other things, that happens. But who's taking these things? I think I know. Listen. And look. <laughs> The number taker. We know all about him. Number taker, number taker. Have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers we can see. Picking, making, getting. Letting as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up. He's as mean a number taker as can be. It's the number taker taking the things. Yes, and there's a pattern. I thought there was. There are lots of things, then a few things, then just one thing. OK, what we need is brain game. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem. Use our brain all way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. We need Brain Game to turn one thing back into a few things. And then lots of things. Brain Game to turn one into a few and into lots. Sending Brain Game. Turn one into a few and then into lots. Oh no, it's not working. Try the other things. Oh no! Turn one into a few and then lots. He's still not going to be full up. Oh no! Agents, why isn't the brain game working? Maybe it's not just a few and lots. Maybe there's a special number of things. Well, let's count them. That's when there were only a few fingers. How many's that? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Can you send me brain game to make one into ten? One. Ten. That's very clever. One and zero side by side make ten. Get them in the brain game machine. Brain game to make one into ten. Make one into ten. Yes. Make one into ten. He still needs more beans. At least there are ten of everything now. But that's how many he had to begin with. Was that a special number? We haven't got time to count all those. Agents, any ideas of a special number these could be? I'm not sure, but I've heard a number called 100. That sounds like a special number. OK, quick. Send me Brain Game to turn 10 into 100. But how are we going to do that? We can only make 10 in the Brain Game machine. Maybe this will work. <laughs> Five, what are you doing? Well, one and zero side by side make ten. Maybe another zero will make ten into a hundred. We might as well try. Ready, Five? Brain game to make ten into a hundred. Yes! 
Ten into a hundred. Ten into a hundred. Ten into a hundred. Ten into a hundred. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> He's all right now. We turned one into ten and ten into a hundred. Hooray! Sorry, but there's more problems. Oh, no. This boy had a model made from loads and loads of bricks. Looks like a lot more than a hundred. And then they disappeared. <gasps> now that's about a hundred. <gasps> about oh. ten. <gasps> Just <gasps> one. But how many bricks did he start with? Well, I do know the name of a very big number. Tell us. A thousand. A thousand? If the number taker is taking things from a thousand, anything could happen. <laughs> what if it was a thousand birds? The number taker might make it just a hundred birds. Or just ten. It could be birds he takes, or a thousand anything. We've got to stop the number taker. How can we make a thousand brain gain? Another zero. It's got to be worth a try. I'll get the funny looking one. Hurry up, please. There's a lot of people around here. The number taker might take a thousand people. Send in brain gain. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand! This is the most powerful brain game I've ever had! Six can't handle the power! I need agents to help me! Calling all agents! Calling all agents! Six needs help urgently to make one thousand! They're coming, Six! Quick as you can! One agent can get us up to ten with ten fingers. That's ten agents. And we're up to a hundred fingers. A hundred agents! We need to make the number one thousand. Yeah. That's it. That is one thousand fingers. Ready to handle the brain game. Use the power of a thousand fingers to chase away the number taker. Come back now, Six. Six. Oh, that was powerful stuff. See it all on screen. The girl had a hundred things, then ten, then one. The same thing was happening to lots of things. One and zero got together, and we made a brain game to make ten things again. And another zero made it a hundred. And another zero made it one thousand. We needed a thousand fingers to handle such powerful brain gain. And sort out the number taker. Hooray! Everyone get ready for the photo. And when we've taken the photo, see if you can find things that are a ten of, or a hundred of, or even a thousand. Come on, four. Coming. Everyone shout hooray. Hooray! hooray! 